Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14.3.6.1. This is a new preview that it's uh, uh, rolling out to insiders and it's part of the anniversary update that will be uh, coming later this year. Uh, there is not a lot of changes but it's quite a few uh, tweaks and improvements that I want to show you on this video so let's just dive in into the new changes. And I'm going to start with the start menu and I'm just going to open the start menu now. and everything remains the same but now every time that uh, you move uh, the mouse away from the all apps um, menu or the um, uh, live tile section you will see that um, you will see that the um, scroll bar will fade out really quick before it is to like stay there for um, a very long time so now that's fixed and now the um, uh, the space between the elements and the top side of the uh, the menu has been reduced so there is no a lot of dead space on on the top so those are just a uh, uh, quick um, just really simple improvements but it should uh, make uh, the experience better using the uh, uh, the start menu for uh, a lot of people all right so now let let, let me move to uh, Cortana which uh, you won't find a lot of changes and or features but there's quite a few improvements. For example, when we go to the um, to the homepage of Cortana, now we get this uh, see all tips button and this uh, search for, and we get uh, these three buttons. Uh, these are filters that you can actually use to search uh, to do specific searches on your computer. So you can click uh, apps, for example, and you can just type the name of the app, and instead of looking for other uh, search terms it will just look for apps on your computer and also the, the same is for documents and for the web it just you know this just uh, simple filters that makes search a lot easier if you click the uh, what's new uh, what's new for you that will show you the um, uh, the all uh, cards uh, section uh, with all your calendars and um, important information uh, tailored to uh, to your account and that's pretty much all that's new on Cortana and on the uh, start menu and let me just move now to the um, uh, to the action center uh, there is uh, quite a few changes that I want to show you they're just a uh, small tweaks and we're going to see for example now that um, Microsoft updated the uh, the network icon on on this button on, on the network button click that that will actually bring us the uh, uh, the network fly up menu and also now the um, the size of the um, of the images of the icons for the uh, notifications have been reduced from 64 by 64 pixels to uh, 48 by 48 uh, one thing I forgot to tell you about Cortana is that uh, now you can uh, click in the um, the mic button. Uh, Cortana should be able to listen uh, better uh, to you, and so that's just uh, a small tweak that Microsoft did, and it should help. Uh, it should help a lot of people to get Cortana uh, working better on their computers. All right, so. Um, Oh, one thing that I want to show you too. Actually, I want to tell you because you can't see it, but now there is a shortcut to open the um, flyout uh, using the uh, Windows key plus Alt and D and the letter D, and that will open this flyout menu. All right, so uh, now let's move on to uh, the Windows Ink section. That's where the um, other changes are happening. And let me just open the uh, Windows Ink workspace and let me dive into the uh, sticky notes because there's quite a few changes in here and now as you can see before we used to have a blur and we can like, we could like, see through here to the desktop but it will be all blurry and now we can actually uh, see through and we can see everything on the desktop that's another change and now when we click the uh, menu for a note now we get to uh, we got a um, color picker right there and we don't have to go we don't have to jump through other settings uh, menus just to change the uh, the color of the um, 
of the note. Um, also, when we close a sticky note now, I mean, when we delete one, we want to delete one, uh, now we're going to get a warning message. You know, click the uh, don't show this message again, and, and you just need to confirm the first time that you want to delete it, and it will delete the, um, uh, the note. Uh, however, one thing that I'm noticing that it probably is a bug, but when you when you close sticky notes, the note the note as you can see stays on the desktop. It should actually like close with the um, uh, with the, uh, with the sticky notes uh, um, canvas, but it doesn't. So I don't know if this is a bug, but for now, if you need to actually close the sticky notes, you need to come to the uh, uh, to the taskbar, right click and actually close the sticky notes like that. And now let me just jump, go back to the uh, window sync and jump to um, the screen sketch. On a screen sketch and also in a sketch pad, now probably you've seen this before, now we get a ruler, but now the ruler actually is longer and it covers um, the, uh, the entire screen even of a surface book and now we also get a new icon to clear the um, uh, to actually to erase everything on the on the canvas let's say if I if, if I if I use this and then I click the clear all button it clears it all before there was like a different icon and that wasn't really uh, disco discoverable for users so now Microsoft updated that and now it's easier just to uh, clear the, on the screenshot or on on a different canvas using the uh, sketch pad. And there is also like I don't see it here because I don't have a touch screen, but um, there is also an updated uh, uh, touch ink icon. All right, so uh, now that's pretty much everything that's new on the uh, Windows in ink section. And now let's just move to the um, uh, to the settings app uh, because Microsoft is actually doing a lot of changes as you can see it right now when we open the uh, the window settings you can see now that Microsoft has changed the uh, the background the gray background that it had and now it's only white and even when we go to uh, when we go to to one of the sections like go to system you will see now that uh, the back the background has also been removed from the uh, from the navigation uh, area right here and that has been updated with the um, with colors on the on the actual uh, title and, and and a little block on the left that actually points out where you're located. Let me see, let me show you right now. When you move, you can see that that it uh, that actually the um, the title changed colors, and this color uh, comes from the color that you're using for your uh, Windows experience. And now let me see, there is nothing new on system, but let me just show you really quick that if you go to the about section, now we can see that Microsoft updated the, um, the version number to 1607, indicating that uh, we're going to, the company is going to release this version to everyone on July of 2016. That's what the uh, 1607 means. Uh, before this build, uh, the version was uh, 1511, uh, which marked the uh, November uh, 2015 uh, update of uh, the current version of Windows. All right, let's move on and let's go to home. Oh, one thing that I forgot to show you is that um, now the uh, the home the, the home button, the, uh, the this whole area is now clickable before. We used to be able just to click the uh, the gear button to go to home, but now we can click the whole thing. And now the uh, the home button it's located above the uh, the search box, and that just you know makes it easier for people to navigate uh, between settings. All right, let me just go really quick on devices. There is nothing new there. And now if we go to network and internet. I know there is something new here, and yes. Um, although there is like new, there is no new features. Microsoft is turning uh, links like this that we that we used to see here 
and two buttons that actually opens uh, opens up um, uh, tools from the um, uh, from control panel. Let me see if I let me see if I can click the uh, sh um, sharing options, and I'll show open. As you can see, does the uh, all uh, control panel. So it just makes it easier. This looks just you know common links that you know now. Uh, we get in these buttons at least until Microsoft migrates all the uh, options to the uh, uh, to the settings to the settings tab. It, it just looks a little bit better, and with the icons, it makes it more identifiable for users and, and it's just easier to use. All right, so um, let me just uh, move back to home and let's go to personalization and let's just let me show you. Uh, there is no changes in here, but just wanted to show you that um, if we change the color, you will see that now the title uh, will change. Uh, will will change as well, and now you can see how uh, how this works. So now, like you know, whatever color you choose, that's the uh, color and uh, color of the title you're going to see for that page. And let me just switch it back, and let me show you that. Uh, now that we see all white, but you also have the choice to use the um, dark theme on, win uh, on Windows on Windows 10. Let me just close that so we can uh, update the uh, the title bar to to the dark color. As you can see now, it's all dark. And now, as you can see, also we don't see a background, so it's all it's all dark, and you know it just makes the experience more consistent. All right, just like let me switch back to my preference, which is the light. Let me close that again and open this back. And now let's move on to. Oh, one thing on this bill is that if you open the privacy uh, settings, it will crash the uh, the settings app. So if if you're um, thinking or testing this bill, um, make sure you know that if. You know, if that's something that you really need, uh, you don't want to update to this um, preview. All right, so uh, there's there's not nothing new done on time and language or easy of easy of access or privacy. Uh, there is quite a few changes on update and security, and that's happening on Windows uh, on Windows Update. For some reason, I don't get the. Um, I'm not getting the option, but um, there is. There should be an active hours uh, option here, uh, and that it's been on different previous um, bills of the operating system. And before you were allowed to uh, configure the active times that you use your computer, so it doesn't reboot uh, to install an update, uh, up to ten hours. So Microsoft has made the change, and now you can uh, use a range up to uh, 12 hours. Um, also on Windows Defender, uh, there is nothing visually um, new, but what Microsoft is doing on on this bill is that it's reducing the number of notifications you get from Windows Defender. And before before this bill, we used to like get notifications when Windows Defender it didn't run or or after you run if it didn't find anything it, you will get a notification either way so those, notifi those notifications has been suppressed and now we have uh, we're going to see only notifications when action actions are required so it's less uh, intrusive for user which is which is really nice um, and then on backup there's there's nothing new recovery nothing new but when we go to activation um, there is no new features, but now we get this new section of uh, I've the product key with this uh, message, and that's pretty much all that's new. As you can see, uh, you can see this right here. This title that means that uh, uh, this section is still under development. And now that's pretty much everything that's new on the uh, on the settings app. And now let's switch to Microsoft Edge, which also doesn't have new features but for example one of the things that are worth pointing out is that um, on extensions now we can use uh, the LastPass um, 
password manager so if you have that service you can use extensions to bring all your password to this uh, to this web browser and you can enable and disable from here and you can just go to the options and let me just close that it's, maybe it's going to open I, I thought it was going to show uh, m my configurations but it doesn't or, or my passwords but I guess it doesn't alright so uh, so that's how you change the settings there and one other thing that Microsoft is, is, is updating with the Microsoft Edge it's on the um, download notifications now we get um, of the download and the status and the domain they're separated they're separated on each line or I or at least uh, for some reason I, I guess it's not happening but supposedly what Microsoft did is uh, um, it's separated in different lines the uh, the status the, uh, the, uh, the name of what you're downloading and the link and and three different lines but um, as you can see it's not happening right now but it certainly be on the uh, final um, bill so and finally let me just go to let me see if I can go to like about flags Let me cancel this if I can. And now this like in this like a uh, um, in this section where we get access to developer settings and experimental features, we now see that we have uh, disabled by default the uh, enable TCP fast open that used to be enabled by default is now unchecked. And, but you can come here if you need it and just click that in here and now we also get a full screen uh, enable standard full screen API option if you if you're a developer or you need that turn on you can come here and just uh, enable that um, that's pretty much all that's new with uh, wi with the Windows 10 bill 14361 remember to like the video dislike and or leave a comment and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing